today we have the Airy DOS virus, and apparently, yeah, with a probability of one half after executing, it types a very long message to the user. And apparently, it overwrites a lot of files so that it only displays this when the computer is restarted. So let's go ahead and run it. There is the payload. And it's got a pretty neat typing effect there. Beeps the PC speaker in time with writing the letters on screen. As you can see, it's a lot like the uh, Skynet DOS virus I tested, gosh, almost a year ago now. Except it's green text on black instead of yellow on red. It's got a lot of personal info here. I'm assuming this is from early 90s, so a lot of this won't be valid anymore. Man, this just goes on and on. Below average for computer underground. Alright, it looks like the message is over. It, oh. What? Okay. Yes, let's just drag this out as long as humanly possible. Man, this just goes on and on. For a second there, I might thought it might have been done. Are you kidding me? Yes, let's write an essay on the DOS prompt. Not to mention this PC speaker is getting on my nerves. If you actually want to read this whole message, just let me know, I'll see if I can get it. Alright, it seems to be done. You've gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, it just repeats. So let's go ahead and restart the computer. Alright, so everything seems to be normal. Let's try command.com. Seems to be good. Seems to be working pretty well so far. As you can see, command no longer works properly. So, Airy probably overwrote these, and sooner or later we'll just re demonstrate that payload all over again. And that's about it for the Airy DOS virus.